Even though nearly 30 years have passed since the accident at Chernobyl, radiation levels are still high around the plant. A no-entry zone extends 30 kilometers from the site. About 30 firefighters and plant workers died soon after the accident due to acute radiation exposure. More than 160,000 people were forced to move out of contaminated areas. They continue to live on government subsidies. A UN survey suggests many children in the area have developed thyroid cancer. Others have developed heart and circulatory diseases. Some complain of physical disorders, including headaches and dizziness. The Ukrainian government provides free health checks and other support to about 2 million people. Japan's foreign minister Fumio Kishida has seen firsthand the site of 1986 Chernobyl nuclear accident in Ukraine. Kishida wants to increase cooperation with Ukraine in order to reconstruct areas in northeastern Japan affected by the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident two, year, two and a half years ago. Kishida was shown the concrete and metal sarcophagus that has covered the number four reactor for the past 27 years. Ukrainian officials and engineers explained to Kishida how difficult it was to contain radioactive substances immediately after the accident. They said highly radioactive materials remain inside. Kishida inspected the construction of a dome-like structure that will cover the Asian sarcophagus. He also visited a deserted town where nuclear plant workers once lived. I think the experience and knowledge gained by the Ukrainians after the 1986 accident provides a great example for dealing with the accident at Fukushima. Kishida told reporters that he realized the effort to contain the aftereffects of the Chernobyl accident continues to this day. The people of Japan and Ukraine share the experience of overcoming a nuclear disaster. The foreign ministers of the two countries have agreed to do more to cooperate in studying the effects. Leonid Kozara welcomed Fumio Kishida to Kiev. They agreed to share what they've learned about the disasters at Chernobyl in 1986 and at Fukushima Daiichi in 2011. And they agreed on a joint project to study the spread of radiation in Fukushima. They'll use Ukrainian rockets to launch Japanese microsatellites to determine how radioactive materials have dispersed. Japan and Ukraine face the same challenges. I hope we can work closely together. Kishida said the Japanese government will try to regain the trust of other countries. He said government officials will disclose more information about how they're cleaning up after the disaster in Fukushima.